It's early spring on Cape Cod, and the shoreline is a cold and windy place. However, just beyond the dunes lies dozens and dozens of beautiful ponds. So far in today's episode, we've caught yellow perch and trout. Now, in part three, we'll go after calico bass, which are also commonly referred to as black crappies. On April 23rd, I again went fishing with my friend and MFCC member, Jeff Coates, at a small pond located just off Cape. It is possible to catch calico bass on Cape Cod, but they are more plentiful in southeastern Massachusetts. During this trip, we used 1 8 ounce Eagle Claw tin ball head jigs with 2 inch soft plastic tails. For rods and reels, we used ultralight spinning setups with 8 pound test. Catching fish using these light setups is a ton of fun. This is fun using such light stuff. Between this and the trout fishing the other day. Yeah. That brown trout put up such a nice fight on this rod and reel. <laughs> yeah. Scream of mine. We we'll catch a four pound smallie on that same setup. Yeah, that would be cool. Going airborne and carrying on like they do. Black crappies bite well, but they don't fight as hard as other species like smallmouth bass. However, as far as freshwater table fare is concerned, black crappies are at the top of my menu. Minnows, crustaceans, insects, and many other different types of small creatures and fish make up the black crappies diet. When retrieving the lure, give it an enticing jigging action to mimic the small bait fish and crustaceans that crappies naturally feed upon. Black crappies have a beautifully spotted pattern along their sides. They are a cool looking fish with a mouth similar to a bass. The best action was in the southernmost section of the pond and fishing around submerged timber was proving very productive. Nice. Black crappies often travel together in schools, and during this trip, Jeff and I would often catch several crappies back to back in the same spot. The action was great, and it didn't take long to catch enough for dinner. However, black crappies were not the only species lurking in this pond. There we go. Yeah, it seems like right over here there's a population of them. This guy feels bigger than the last one. Pretty quick, whatever it is. Got in the weeds now. Oh! Chain pickerel are a common bycatch while targeting other species in ponds on Cape Cod and throughout Massachusetts. Slime dart. Slime dart, lake snake. <laughs> Lots of nicknames for this guy. Pickerel are a very slimy fish and they also have a set of very sharp teeth. A lot of anglers don't enjoy catching pickerel, but I've always thought they were a lot of fun. The small jigs were working very well. And just a few minutes later, Jeff was able to add another species to the list. The prettiest fish I think we have in our waters. Very pretty fish. 
And you don't really recommend eating these guys? You can eat them. Yeah. They're not as good as a cra crappie or the fresh, but they, they, people eat them. They get, you know, more like a bass kind of taste. Gotcha. A little more uh, muddyish. We decided to release the bluegill, but we did keep several of the black crappies. These fish were caught from clean, cold water, and their meat is healthy and firm. Black crappies have a nice white filet, and there is very little red meat on them, which is perfect for pan frying. Crappies have a soft texture and mild flavor that's similar to yellow perch. For a side, we had okra, which is a vegetable that's very popular in the South. It was awesome having fresh caught fish so early in the season. And Lauren did a great job as she always does.